what's up you guys so before i even get into this because i know i sound like a hot ass mess right now like my voice is really raspy you know i've had some issues and you know when you have to go off on people and go above and beyond your means of vocal levels this is what happens sometimes and you know i don't listen i don't tolerate anybody's disrespect I don't give a damn who you are. You're not going to disrespect me in any shape or form. I don't tolerate disrespect. I do not tolerate disrespect. So I sound raspy like this because sometimes I got to check you. And when I got to check you, I'm about to check you. So we even get into this, you know what I'm saying? The wig that I have on today is by B Show Hair. You can check them out on Amazon or the actual website. They have loads of wigs that's super duper cheap and affordable. So you can still look cute on a budget. They still look cute on a budget, <clears throat> you know, and I've, I've worked with them on so many times that's ridiculous, but it's not about this wig. It's about some exposure to some wig companies because quite frankly, I'm tired of the bullshit and it's like this. Listen, now let's just start off with certain wig companies. Now, listen, I have tried all different types of hairs from different vendors and some of them may be good like when i say good like good acceptable some of them may be like hell to the no some of them might be like yes girl let's get it some of them be like i like it okay what i don't fucking like is when people try to come out of their character and act like they better than most or act like they the best fucking wig brand out there sweetheart we're not about to do that we we're not going to do that now for one my ride or die wig company and i'm not just saying this but my ride or die wig company that i have been dealing with for 11 plus years is rpg show by far there will be nobody that will replace them and i say this because they have consideration professionalism and involvement they have evolved from one on the richter scale to a fucking 10 plus okay not only have they evolved as a professionalism company but as a wig brand and hair vendor okay when i can not see the lace on my wig and forget that i'm wearing a wig honey you have did the damn thing and there are some wig companies out there that fail to realize bitch you ain't did that I'm still sitting up here plucking and jucking and shiving and jiving and spraying all types of shit on my wig to make that stuff blend. If I have to do all of that, there's no room for you to talk about me or about how you feel like you're going to handle me. You feel me? Or about how you did not like my truthful video. You feel me? Okay. So here I am today to expose some companies because listen, I don't give two rats booty if your wig is cheap and I can fuck with it and make it look realistic. I can go somewhere else and spend a little bit more money and not have to do anything at all and have the confidence that I need to have to walk out that goddamn door and look a million times better. Own it, you know what I'm saying? Like be fierce and know it, okay? With that being said, let's just start off with Sunwell. Sunwell, who sells hair on Amazon Prime and also sells hair on their own website. So yes, I have posted up a wig video from them like a couple weeks ago. I have bleached your wig twice as I stated in the video. I had to work my own voodoo voodoo magic on it. And for you to tell me that your company is no longer going to be doing wigs anymore because the business is slow, that don't matter to me at all. I'm gonna need you to run me my motherfucking money. So here it is, Sunwell Hair. Now, mind you, I did not give them a rating of 10. I said their hair is okay, and you will definitely need to bleach the knots. I said all that in the video because that's me. I'm being truthful and honest. If I don't really care for your product too much, I'm definitely going to let you know. And if you don't like it, that's fine. That's 100% fine because at the end of the day, I don't give a damn. Because if I have so much criticism on one of your products, that means I definitely don't want to work with you again. You know what I'm saying? I don't understand why people don't just keep it real about the wig that they wear. So what if they don't send you another wig? Who the hell wants another garbage lace wig? Like, come on, y'all. I got enough trash in my house. I don't need nothing extra. And I have enough to do where I don't need to do another video with a wig that I got to 100% tweak on my own. Sunwell obviously didn't really care for my video too much because I said that you had to bleach the knot. I was being honest. They also said to me, we are no longer, once we sell out a wig, we're no longer going to sell wig because it is so slow in the business. So bitch, what the fuck else you want to sell? Masks, lashes, 
makeup like what what else are you going to sell it doesn't matter to me what else you're going to sell so we we we're not going to sell no more hair we, we're not going to pay you for video so you don't want to pay me for my video because i was honest well i'm gonna cut you okay well honestly i don't give two rats ass and honestly i don't give a shit what you're going to do with your motherfucking company honestly i don't care how you feel about my honesty and after this video sweetheart you don't have to pay me I take pleasure. I take freaking pleasure in bashing people at times. I take pleasure in being petty at times. I take pleasure in giving you my two cents. I take pleasure in reading you your motherfucking rights. I take pleasure in that. I take pleasure in going off and ranting because what better place to do it is right here on YouTube. Anything else? So like I said, your hair is dry and it's low luster. Yes, bitch, it's drier than the fucking Sahara Desert out here. In, in in Arizona. It's drier than a desert. That's what it is. It is what it is. Like, you cannot honestly feel like I'm going to give you a 10 when you are like a 6. And if you don't want to pay me, that's cool and kudos because I'll drag you all over the face of this earth until you'll never sell hair again. Paying me is not a problem. It's stealing from me and stealing from my subscribers. That's a problem. So you're mad because I'm not going to critique my video as to what you're gonna say girl be mad get in line because there's a whole lot of motherfuckers that don't like me and is mad i love when people don't like me. i love when people are mad because that lets me know you won't bother me anymore and i love when people don't bother me because why i'm an introvert so for you not to want to bother me is a plus and a blessing i prefer that and your money is not going to make or break me i'm still going to be honest and say what i have to say so sunwell you and your dried up hair are exposed and yes i don't care how you feel sunwell is off the list you have a strike against the next bender is <laughs> is aliexpress i show hair they took like two weeks to they took like a week and a half to respond to my video i had to go on the deep end with them first of all you try to tell me that the person that who i was communicating no longer worked there she just quit Sweetheart, the email address is a general email. It is ishowhair at gmail.com. It's not designated to one person. It is a universal general email address that you all are using. So don't try to tell me that the person quit. They might have, but you all have access to it. So don't get on a tangent when I go on one and feel like, oh my God, so sorry. So sorry for the miscommunication. This will never happen again. You're right, it won't. Because I won't fuck with you anymore. And I won't do business with you. So you did not like my video because I said your hair was dry. Okay. If you dry, you dry. If you salty, you salty. What do you want me to do about it? People see the hair is dry, honey. They see that. There's no getting past it. That is one vendor that I will not be, as they say, cooperating with. Because your professionalism is on a scale of zero. The hair quality is not that great either. And I said that in the video. Now here is another vendor, L. Wig. So back in January, they at the end of December, they sent me a wig. I don't care if it's 2019. You're not about to rush me to do anything. I will do what I want to do when I want to do it. I'm not going to be forced to do anything. I've already gone through shit. And on top of that... Please do not rush me to do a video. When I get the wig in January, you guys go on your spring festival or whatever festival it is that you take in China. And then not only have you taken a spring festival break, but you took a COVID break. I'm not about to rush to do nobody's video when the COVID is running rapid out here. We're not about to do that. When the COVID is running rapid out here like Niagara Falls. Please, I'm not releasing no video. People are already afraid that they're about to catch a virus, let alone get some goddamn hair from another country that is sparking the fucking flame to the COVID. Are you telling me when I release the video? Oh well, we 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 don't want we don't want that video because the hair is old now. No, bitch, the hair's not fucking old. It's still new because I just put it the fuck on. Okay. And you telling me to delete the video? No, bitch, I'm not gonna delete the video because you wanna pay me less. You already agreed to my payment, sweetheart. Don't try to tell me that your company... Listen, I told you, I warned you, Elwood. Do not fuck with me on any day. 
because I gives it up like a fucking easy thought for on a fucking Vegas strip ready to get paid for giving up the pussy. I gives it up like that. I don't care about your feelings. I don't care about how old the motherfucking wig is. I do not care. It is what it is. So now you're trying to tell me you're not about to pay me for the video and I should delete it, bitch? No, I'm not going to delete it, all right? But I will delete your links. And what I will say is this. Let me tell you, YouTubers, influencers, your worth is worth more than that. I, let me tell you something. It ain't never about the money for me. Like, it is because I'm going to get mine regardless. But I'm not about to stoop to nobody's fucking level and tell you that this is that and this is that because I'm getting a check. I'm sorry that I say that your hair is dry or that the lace ain't up to my standards. Bitch, you still going to pay me regardless. If you don't want to pay me, that's cool still, but I'm about to expose you because at the end of the day, I'm never beat for that money, okay? I'm going to still go on to the next company and I'm going to make that paper. But I'm also going to let everybody know in my videos, any video that I do, if I don't like the shit, I don't effing like it. And that's that. And if you feel the need not to pay me because of that, then bitch, go right ahead. Ooh. <laughs> Is that shade? <laughs> so L Wigs talking about oh well we'll pay we'll send you another way. Nah, bitch, I don't want another way. I worked hard on that video. I worked hard to edit it. Therefore, if you don't want to pay me because I said what I said about your wig, then that's cool, sweetheart. It's all good. I'm cool with that. Because you know why? At the end of the day, I already let my subscribers know that the lace wasn't up to my color and my standards, and that's that. So what? It's me being honest because there's too many people on YouTube who say, oh, I love it. I love the wig. And give me 5,000 likes and I'll let you know that I love it. Ooh. Is that shade? <laughs> I'm not about that life. On surrealness, if I don't like something, I don't like it. And if I don't like it, I'm going to tell you that in the video. And if you don't like it, that's just too bad because nine times, ten times out of ten, if I don't like your one product, I don't want you to send me anything else. Because I don't like it. And I don't want you to try to make up for it. Because then I feel like I'm looking stupid on camera. Talking about, oh, I ain't like that wig. That wig company is trash. And then I do another video for you. Girl, no, I'm not about to look stupid. I don't like your wig. I don't like your eyeliner. I don't like your makeup. Therefore, I don't want you to send me anything else. No. No. I got enough stuff in my house that needs to go in the trash bin. I don't need to throw anything and collect anything else extra. So I'm just saying. L wigs, I show hair, and who else was it? Like, they're so irrelevant that I don't even, like, I don't care if you don't like it. It is what it is. We don't have to work together. There's so many other different hair vendors out there that want to work with me and that I could work with that you, it doesn't matter. But I'm going to speak the truth. And I think, like, a, not, a lot of you YouTubers that are watching me, I don't really care if you're in your feelings about it. Um, I've been here, I've been on this YouTube platform for 12 fucking years all right oh is that shay <laughs> 12 years okay 12 and yeah this is my third channel but i've been on here for 12 years and me personally i don't care who don't like me i don't care if i don't collaborate with anybody i don't care how you may feel about my realness bro need to go bye but i'm gonna just say this if you will just be real and say you don't like the shit, then there will be a lot of other people out here that will save money. Like, if you don't like something, just say it. Okay. Because what do you need another piece of garbage? Too many people be worried about the money, and I'm so over that. Like, I'm just really over that shit. Like, be for real. Be a stand-up guy and say you don't like the shit, okay? Like, I don't freaking like it. And if they really respect your game and your realness and your hustle, then they will continue to collaborate with you. But if they don't respect your hustle, then that's cool. Because I don't really need to work with nobody that don't respect my hustle. So I think I wasted enough time and I'm going to go. Because listen, I got other things to do than sit here and rant about some loser ass companies. Like, bitch, bye. I don't give a fuck about that. You don't have to pay me. This is enough for me right here to expose you. This is payment enough. And I'm loving every minute. Bye. Bye. Get them, spin them, but lunch in my shoe and the denim. I put the records on them. Big bands can't bend them. Ops, we hit them. Fuck them off, we bend them.